how Mountain Home got its name by Dr. Jason Fritz Norman of Springfield, Missouri. Originally written in a letter December 1st, 1935, then published in the Baxter Bulletin of Mountain Home, Arkansas on Friday, December 6, 1935, and a few days later in the Springfield Newsleader of Springfield, Missouri, Monday, December 9th, 1935. A few years before the Civil War, several citizens with a vision assembled under the shade of a large elm tree for the purpose of selecting a name for the coming city, as Raps Baron was not desired. One thinking man named Mountain Home, whereupon he made a circle on the ground with a stick and laid a corn cob in the circle, saying, Here is one vote for Mountain Home. Another jumped from his seat on the grass, making another circle beside it, and likewise he laid a corn cob in their circle, saying, There is one vote for Wild Rose. The third one rose, making his circle, saying, Here is one for Claiborne, their congressman being Claiborne. Then there were one or two other names mentioned, but I have forgotten what they were. Then the chairman of the meeting requested all present to cast his vote by laying a corn cob in the circle which name he desired. When all thus voted, the cobs counted, Mountain Home had more cobs than any others combined. Mountain Home was then declared to be the name of the coming town. Now, who would have thought of a more beautiful and appropriate name? Those who reside in the little city and vicinity cannot appreciate the beauty of the little town and the grandeur of the surroundings unless he views it through the eyes of the tourist or a visitor. No spot on earth gives me more thrills. Mountain Home automatically became the name of the post office. I think the second post office in the territory was Whiteville. It was located near the White River on the road to Yellville. Now trading points were few and far between. The Mountain Home Store was operated by Colonel Randolph DePriest Casey and J.S. Russell. There was a store at the mouth of the Big North Fork called The Pint. Tom Travis had a store on the White River near Buffalo Shoals, and George Archer had a store at or near Whiteville. Teverball had a store on the North Fork near the Missouri Line, then Bratton operated a store in Ozark County, 21 miles from Mountain Home on the Old Salt Road. It was discontinued about the second year of the Civil War. Deerskins, possum, raccoon, fox, and wildcat hides and venison hams were some of the resources of the country. Most every farmer owned a few cattle, some were giving milk. They would milk what they wanted from a few of them and then use the portion of the milk for the table and what was left over they fed to the pigs. Most every farmer had a small bunch of sheep and a patch of cotton from which the women made their clothing. <laughs>